It's the five most fascinating people in Swift Current. Proudly supported by the Swift Current Mall, the center at one and four, the city of Swift Current, where life makes sense, the Living Sky Casino, live it up, the Prairie Post, Prairie Life, Prairie People, and by Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. As a media outlet, Southwest TV News is responsible for reporting the news of the day. Oftentimes, the news isn't positive. However, participating in this project reminds us of the extraordinary spirit that lives in each and every one of us. Together, these five individuals demonstrate the capacity for greatness. Greatness that isn't defined by dollars and cents or by a label, but by a burning desire to better themselves and the world around them. In today's Spotlight, Lonnie Hunter, a role model for today's Generation Y and the leader of tomorrow. Morning, Regina. Lonnie Hunter is the youngest of three siblings who spent some time living in the southern U.S. before settling down on an acreage near Waldeck in southwest Saskatchewan. Lonnie is not unlike many teenagers. He goes to school, has his driver's license, and is thinking about his future. The twist in Hunter's case, though, is his passion for politics and a dedication to prove that today's youth can make a difference in our community and country. At the mere age of 16, Lonnie Hunter's calendar is filled with commitments outside of his classroom studies at the Swift Current Comprehensive High School. He represents the local youth on the newly formed Long-Term Facilities Planning Committee of the Chinook School Division, is involved in his church youth group, leads a Christian outreach program at his high school, and is a youth board member for MP David Anderson the latter holding his strongest interest and paving the way for a future career in politics, which has been an ongoing passion. In my elementary school days, we always had discussions in class. We'd just have a discussion box and people would throw topics in there and we'd pull one out and then we'd have the class separate to each side of the room for what they supported and then we'd debate, so I learned to really love that. While only 16, Hunter is already investigating the necessary steps required to pursue his political career. With strong conservative blood pumping through his veins, Hunter has approached Cypress Hills Grasslands MP David Anderson to be his mentor. As a board member for Anderson and a volunteer for his 2008 campaign, Lonnie Hunter is learning the ropes and picking up solid advice on how to attain his political aspirations. He came in there and just took me along with him. And uh, so he told me a bunch of programs that I could get into that are a start in politics. So it's kind of like political career, I get to start in politics, doing what I love, I don't have to go somewhere else to get there, so he just kind of showed me things I could do and got me on his board trying to get me involved as early as possible, so it's really great of him. In addition to his passion for politics and his efforts to get other youth interested in the whole democratic process, Hunter says he enjoys math, plays several instruments including the guitar, and has been approached on a number of occasions by several high school coaches to get involved in sports. And as many of the youth of today are slated as the me generation, tied to their cell phones and iPods, and face the temptation of a range of alcohol and drugs, Hunter remains close to his faith in God, commitment to his supportive family, and a drive to make a difference in society. I mean, I have a great church family, and I got great friends and stuff, and we're all, you know, we don't do that. We just don't, we don't give ourselves the temptation to go out there and drink, you know. Friday nights, we go out and have, we go to youth. You know, in our church and with our you know, Christian family, I guess. So I guess we just, I mean, we stay away from it. We've got, I've got great friends to keep me accountable and that I keep accountable for that. So I mean, we just don't put up with it. It's just, it doesn't appeal to us. It doesn't appeal to me to go out and drink or smoke. So I've had, I mean, I've been really blessed with the friends I've got, with the family I've got, with the church I've got. He further adds that all youth should take the time to give something back to their community in some form of volunteer activity. I think it's so important. I think it's for for the generation ahead of us to see that, you know, we're ready to take on the world, I guess, kind of thing. And that we're you know, we're not we're all, we're responsible and we're not all just partiers and you know, we're responsible, we're out there, we're ready to do stuff. Lonnie's own efforts in the community were recognized by the Swift Current Chamber of Commerce in two thousand eight, as he was presented with the Youth Ambassador Award at the People's Awards Gala. An experience which was a great surprise. Uh, that was absolutely incredible. I mean, I was completely blown away by that. I, had, I mean, I think of all the stuff is going into there. Is I get to go around our riding 
with our MP. I mean, how cool is that, I think? So, I mean, it's not much of a service I'm doing. And in this board, I mean, if some guy approaches you and says, you know, we'd like you to be on our board, help us make these big decisions. I mean, of course, I mean, that's just, I mean, it's an honor to be asked to do that. It's definitely, I don't see it as any type of volunteering or any type of great service, really. I mean, that's just, and I mean, I think if any, anyone is given the chance, who wouldn't do that? And when faced with the ongoing challenges of the day, Hunter says no matter who you are, one should never lose sight of their dreams, as anything in life is possible. I don't know, I guess you just got to go out there and just go for your goals and say what you believe in and start telling people, and people will respect you for that. I don't think you'll have anyone hard time for going out there and people knowing, hey, he's taking a stand, he's, he's taking a step towards what he believes in. So, I guess you just got to go for your goals. Lonnie Hunter, one of the five most fascinating people in Swift Current.